guys, John here for Obese to Beast, and um, in this video, I kind of want to talk about something that I feel like doesn't get talked about enough. Um, by the title of the video, you can kind of see what it is that I'm going to be talking about. I want to talk about um, being morbidly obese in high school, basically, is what I want to bring up. And um, with that, I kind of want to just tell you guys my experiences with it and what I dealt with being morbidly obese in high school. So. Um, just some background. Um, I went from high school. I went to high school from 08 to, and I graduated 20. No, I, gra I went from 06 to 10. Graduated 2010. Um, so I've been out of high school for about four years now. Um, I remember being in middle school, and being so excited to go to high school. Right, um, nervous, but I was excited because I was finally getting into high school and I was going to be able to do all this stuff. I remember I really wanted to play football really bad because. Um, tackle football was something that I had always wanted to play, but as a kid, I could never play because I was always overweight. Um, and they have weight limits where I live, so you, could, if you were over a certain amount of weight, you couldn't play football. And uh, so I played flag football from since I was in elementary school, like literally like second grade all the way up until eighth grade. I played for the whole time. I loved, loved, loved football. And um, I remember being really, really excited that I was going to be able to play um, tackle football. And I remember going in. Um, ninth grade and I went to a football practice um, <laughs> and I remember being just like whoa this is a lot of work like I was I was the biggest kid on the field right um, and I remember going home after the first um, practice and just being like exhausted and being as sore I've never been that sore in my whole life Right, and I basically, I mean, I'm, I'm not proud to admit it, but I just gave up, I stopped, I didn't go back. I, never, I didn't go back to another practice. And um, I mean, that's something I absolutely regret, very much so, but it is what it, it is, what it is. you know what I mean? I did what I did, and um, I mean, that's, that, it is what it is. So, um, ninth grade year, I remember I would, I was just so like, concerned with people liking me, like people, people, thinking that I was cool, um, even though I was overweight, because that was always a thing, like, I want people to think I'm cool even though I'm overweight, and it was never like, I need to work on my weight, or anything like that, it was like, I want people to like me even though I am overweight, and uh, so that led to, um, basically, throughout my whole high school career was me making fun of myself, I've had videos about this, um, me making fun of myself just to um, get the... Uh, I guess you could say the approval of people in my um, surroundings, you know what I mean, in my classes. And uh, so ninth grade uh, went by, came and went, and uh, no real, like, I guess you could say problems there. Um, tenth grade came around, and I remember thinking, um, like, this is, I, I don't, <laughs> like, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I don't want to be in high school anymore. I was already over it, you know what I mean? And I remember getting into my English class the first day, and, um, there were kids, like, joking around, thinking they were funny, right? And they were giving people nicknames. And I remember the nickname that they gave me was Cupcake, um, for obvious reasons, right? So they, they, they were thinking that it was it would be funny to make fun of me because I was fat, um, call me Cupcake. And, uh, I remember thinking, okay, I need to flip this and turn it into something that's positive for me. So what it ended up turning into was, like, a, a different persona for me. It turned into something that I used to, um, get jokes out and... Um, it turned into like a, a, a second half of me, like, you know, like Two-Face from uh, Batman, it was like that. Like, if I was in a class where people didn't know me as Cupcake and knew me as John, I was very reserved and quiet and I did all my work. But if I was in a class where people knew me as Cupcake, I would be funny, I would um, make jokes, I would make, well, usually the jokes were about myself, and I was just a complete opposite person, right? So, um, in 10th grade, that's when that started. And also in 10th grade, I remember I, I, I was like, okay. I'm gonna try out for the football team again. Like I can do this, and I remember I was still the heaviest kid. You know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> I remember going out, and uh, I went to go do the. We would run the lap, and I was. I mean, I was dead last. They put all the linemen, which is what I would have been, in the front for some reason of the whole the whole running group. We'd all ran together, and and they were like they would put you in the front, and all these other people are way faster than you are behind you, and you had to run in front of them. And I mean, I just ended up just tracking all the way back. And I mean, I couldn't even run a whole lap. You know what I mean? I had to walk. And uh, I remember, so we, we we did that. We did some agility drills, and then we went into the weight area. And I had I didn't know how to lift weights. I didn't I didn't know anything about any of this stuff. And there's kids that are like seniors that have been doing this for four years that knew everything. And they, and all they did was just make fun of me the whole time. 
they, they would call me like, come on, come gay, you should, you're a big dude, you should be able to lift more. And uh, they would just like <laughs> say stuff that was just really mean, like call me fat, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man, we need to work that fat off. And, and it was just like, I remember thinking, like I remember literally having tears in my eyes and walking out and going up to the coach and, and telling a complete lie saying, hey, I um, some family stuff came up at home. This is with tears still in my eyes. Like, I need to go. And uh, I could, they knew, you know what I mean? They were just like, are you, are you sure? Like, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I need to go. And I walked home. <laughs> I walked home and I never, I never tried out for football again. And um, it's one of the biggest regrets in my life. Um, also with high school, I remember I would be in, um, this is kind of in the same vein, I would be in PE classes or phys physical education and we had to run a mile. And I mean, it was like the, the worst thing for me because I remember like, Coaches, they don't realize, or teachers, they don't realize that what they say can really affect the kid and like can affect how other kids think of the kid. Like I remember we would run the mile and if I ever finished in front of someone, right? Because we would run the mile for time. So if I ever finished in front of someone, the coach would be like, wow, you let John finish before you? Like, why aren't you trying? You know what I mean? It was like, it was like he was using me as, um, you should have at least be better than him because he's so insanely fat. You know what I mean? And I remember that would really hurt my feelings and I would never say anything. Um, and that's, that's why it was just so hard. Like I would be in high school and I've never wanted to cry myself to sleep as much as I did when I was in high school. I don't know why I'm telling you guys all this, but, um, I, I just remembered thinking it was never going to end. And the, the reason that this video is to let you guys know that it does end. It does. And high school is just four years of your life that ends. I promise you it does. Because I remember thinking in high school, man, this is the worst thing ever. Like, when I graduated, I remember that I was, af I was afraid that the gown that I got wouldn't fit. And it barely did. And if you guys know anything about gowns, they're huge, right? And the, the thing almost didn't fit me. You know what I mean? So... There was just all these little things. Like I remember going to prom. <laughs> this is what this is one of the worst things. I went to prom with this girl that I liked, and literally, she literally went because she would have felt bad not going. She went. She wanted to dance with me. We didn't even hang out. And I mean, I, I paid for all this stuff for her, and like we just it was. I I remember thinking like, why'd you why'd you come then like. You should have just not come and I would have went by myself, you know what I mean? Or not gone at all and saved some money, you know what I mean? Like, it was it was rough. And uh, I, <laughs> I don't know why, what this video is going to be for. I just wanted to let you guys know, anyone that's dealing with the struggle, that there's people that are there with you. There's people that are struggling with you. And high school is hard for a lot of people. And I want you guys to understand that, that it ends. It's four years of your life, but it ends. And... I mean, I have now I have these people message me from high school and like, wow, you're doing such a great job and I'm so proud of you. And it's the same people that didn't give a crap about me when I was in high school. That didn't talk to me when I was in high school. That And now they want to be my friends and stuff. You know what I mean? So you guys have to understand that high school ends and life gets a lot better. <laughs> I promise you that much. So, I mean, I don't know what this video, I hope this video helps some people out. I mean, I just wanted to put this out there because I feel like I don't see enough videos about high school and being morbidly obese. So, but I do want to make a point. The fact that you're watching this video and the fact that you're obviously subscribed to my channel because you're most likely trying to make a change is a big deal. Because when I was in high school, I didn't even try ever. You know what I mean? And if I did, it wasn't real. Um, so... The fact that you guys are here, I just want to say good job. And you guys, trust me, just stick to it. You're going to make it. You know what I mean? You're going to make it. Just stick to it, you guys. So thank you guys so much for checking out the video. I hope it helped some of you guys out that deal with this. Um, and if it does, please leave a comment down in the section. Comment down in the comment section down below. Let me know if it helped you out or if you've, you've dealt with the same sort of stuff. If you have any stories down there, put them down there because I'm sure people would love to read them. Thank you guys so much. If you liked the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to me, please go ahead and do that. You'll get an update on every single video that I make. So thank you guys so much for the support. It really does mean the world to me. There's one other thing that I needed to say. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look up over him.